Um, meanwhile, we've been looking into the history of the suspect. We still have no word if he shot himself or was killed by police fire. We have been able to confirm a little bit of his work history. CPD has identified the shooter as Juan Lopez. He is 32 years old and had a concealed carry license. The Chicago Housing Authority confirmed that Lopez worked with them since February of this year. He was employed as an associate program specialist for the customer care center at CHA headquarters in the loop. We are told that Lopez passed a background check and that he had no history of complaints at CHA. Meantime, on the edge of the Mercy Hospital campus this morning, ribbons, bears, and two sets of crosses are sitting out for Dr. Tamara O'Neill and pharmaceutical resident Dana Less, who you just heard about. Those are the women that Lopez gunned down yesterday afternoon. He also killed Chicago police officer Samuel Jimenez. Only about 13 hours after after that unthinkable tragedy, we watched hospital employees starting to arrive to care for their regular patients. A charge nurse who worked alongside Dr. O'Neill in the ER describes the difficult shift ahead. It's going to be a very somber day for us. Um, it's on our minds and we just don't know how to deal with this. But, you know, we're a very tight department, so we're all going to be there for each other and support each other. That charge nurse told us that the emergency room where the shooting happened is scheduled to reopen as of just a few moments ago. That's the very latest from the Mercy Hospital campus. I'm Laura Victor reporting live at CBS 2 News. Back to you. All right, Lauren, thank you.